Hello everybody, Grace Blazer, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. In the land of Brick Rigs, anyone can become an architectural designer. Which is actually really important because we end up leveling buildings on a fairly regular basis. Over here! Long Tribe has crafted a house. This is no ordinary house. This house is legitimately amazing. This is, this is the kind of house where I feel like I should be like, Hey guys, just out here. With my Lamborghini. Actually, you know what? Hold on, crap. There we go! Just out here with my Lamborghini. I felt like we needed to put one over here for maximum understanding of how epic this is. I'm pretty sure there's a working garage and everything. Let us wander inside and take a look at this freaking glory. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's working! There we go! Yes, I knew there had to be actuators on this thing. Oh, crap, it looks like there's lighting as well. Hold on, let's see if we can turn on the lights. There we go. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's go ahead and park over here. Oh, it's glorious. Just bring your Lamborghini inside of your kick-ass mansion. Don't worry if you lose a brick here or there. We got plenty of brick bucks to spend. There we go. Okay, while the Lamborghini's flipping out, let us see if we can make our way through the door. There we go. And welcome to Casa de la Grey. Long Tribe version. Long Tribe first house. Look at the interior to this thing! Look at the friggin' sound system! <laughs> With LG TV. So this is the kitchen. You can see we have a, a fantastic microwave oven. You got your faucet, your cooktop. This is the oversized refrigerator where we keep the slain bodies of all of our foes. You're gonna notice a uh, wood grain checker pattern on the floor over here. Let me let me bring you guys over into the uh, the living room. You got your like 180 inch TV. We have several seating arrangements here for your comfort. Don't worry about the wheel. Just kind of slowly lollygagging around in the background over there. Uh, now, if we continue over to this way, I'm curious what there is. There's another door over here. Let's go ahead and open this on up. Oh, there's a lower bathroom. Would you look at this? Look at that. The toilet looks majestic. You even have a full thing of toilet paper, baby. Oh, there's is there an actuator on here? What does this do? Oh. Oh, did I just did I just mess with the door? I'm gonna leave that alone for right now. Let us continue up the spiral. <laughs> Look at the car just on its side. Let us continue up the spiral staircase to the upper loft area. You're gonna notice another bajillion inch TV because who can have enough of those? A lovely outdoor. Does that say enable thruster? <laughs> Hold on. What is this? The grill? Hold on, is there another actuator? Oh, there is. There we go. <laughs> Here's our grill top. Oh, mother of God. That'll cook your burgers up real quick. Hopefully this thing comes equipped with some sort of, like, flame retardant system or something. Over here, we've got potentially another room? I don't... Oh, 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 hold on now. There we go. Over here, we have a lovely bedroom. Oh, look at this. It's all set up computer-wise and everything as well. Look at the rig down there. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this for you guys. Look at that. There's a power button. Full full monitor with keyboard and mouse and everything. Holy crap. There's the, uh, the main bed area. Now, it looks like all this opens as well. We have another bathroom over in here. All right, I gotta turn- hold on, I gotta turn off the rocket-powered burners over here. I feel- the burgers are probably done by now, anyway. Got a second bathroom up in here. Look at this! There's a tub and a shower. There's your toilet and sink. Even a little area over here for your wardrobe. And how much bigger is this house? There's more than- oh my- look at all these rooms. Hold on, let's, um... Open up this door over here. We have another bathroom up here because who can have enough? This is a legitimate mansion. Over here we have... Oh, is this like a game room or is this like a kid's room? Oh, this is like a, this is like a, young, a young man's room right over here. Got Looks like another storage area. Got your gaming <laughs> with your lava lamp or whatever going on. There's like a little chest. There's your bed. Right over here we have another bed. Does that say pump? Does that say activate pump? Hold on, it looked like- I don't know what's pumping down there, we'll- we'll pretend it's- Oh yeah, so this is like, uh, it's like a mirror over here, I don't know, maybe this is the daughter's room or something, I really have no clue. More storage area, and then it looks like it goes upstairs, there's more! There's an extra- there's a more to the upstairs, what else is up here? There's a door. And here we are! Oh, it's like an attic! Okay, <laughs> there's like the hot water heater! Okay! Wow! Uh... 
So, yeah, Long Tribe made a ridiculous and very, very detailed house. Now, I know what you guys are asking. You're saying the house is beautiful, but is it rocket proof? Let's find out. Torpus is back with the anti-London artillery battery. There is a lot of rockets hidden in here. A lot of rockets. Now, this is made for taking down the entire city. So I have a feeling that we should be able to bust down one house, just assuming that I can hit it with all these rockets. If we go down inside over here, you're going to notice there's a little control area uh, where our, our Brickman sits patiently with his one little sad lamp, waiting to end the lives of all those that betray him. Now, I do believe that we could just go ahead and press the page up button to open up the sadness doors. And from here, everything is already prepared. All you have to do is press the W button. Fire the rockets. All right, now you don't want him to go too far, so I just kind of tapped it a little bit, just to see what sort of range we got on the... Oh, no! Oh, oh, I think we're gonna be a little bit short. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him go just a little bit further. They're starting to twist and turn all over the place. Oh, it's like a swarm of angry bees or something. Oh, they're exploding everywhere! There's shrapnel and bits and pieces flying around. Oh, I think we got one rocket that's kind of gone wayward. Nope, he missed as well. Oh, buildings are starting to go down. That was not the intent. Here we are. There's one hero of a rocket. No, he totally missed. You dirty scumbag failure. Okay. What? <laughs> well. <laughs> We ended up taking down like a half a block as we normally do in our attempt to hit one small target. Last go over here. You can see the rain of rockets starting to come down. It was a little bit shallow. The hits were a little bit shallow, but a few of them are... Whoa, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, quite a few of them are landing right smack dab in the middle of the house. That is glorious. Well, let me go ahead and slow things down here a little bit just so that we could appreciate the amount of fire and smoke that happened. Again, though, whew, every once in a while, like, a couple of the rockets finally decide to catch up with their brethren and explode. The house is still, I would say, for the most part in one piece. Other than being completely on fire, I think it did pretty well, all things considered. Before I put this beast away, a city lies before us. Let's teach it the penalty for simply existing. Fire the rockets. Oh, yeah. Oh, there they go. Hold on. Let me get up here so I can take a look real fast. Now, again, you kind of have to watch. You have to watch your distance because sometimes you'll think that they're going a lot farther than they really are. Like, this is, this is kind of a, just a frontal barrage that's mostly just on this singular street over here. Definitely got a couple of buildings that are gonna go down. There we go. Oh, we got the base of the big building! Oh, the base of the big building's going down! The secondary building might actually come down as well, I'm not sure yet. But we have several big beefy buildings that got took down. We'll give it one more shot and see if we can level the rest of the city. All right, I got these ones, like, way up in the air this time, you'll notice. There we go. Caught the top end of that building right over there. I think we've got some bits and pieces starting to fly into this building. This is... <laughs> the view of all these missiles or rockets coming down here is just glorious. They're going to start uh, rat a tat tat in these little buildings down here at the bottom. Right there. That's a good one. That's a good hit right there. Blow it up, baby. Make it happen. Oh. <laughs> It totally didn't detonate. That was a little weird. Never mind, a couple of them detonated over there. These buildings look like they're starting to fall. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and the rain... <gasps> okay, I think we're done now. And the rain finally finishes, leaving Bricksville once again a little bit battered and beaten. But for the most part, these guys have built and rebuilt structures so much. It's been, it's just like practice at this point. It has the, uh, the, the, the super cannon over here. Let's, let's see if we can get this thing to fly. Now, supposedly it flies. What in the hell is that sound? Oh, oh, 
So I was gonna say, supposedly it flies like a helicopter. Oh, I'm starting to roll like a bowling ball. This is probably not the way you're supposed to be utilizing the Death Star. Crap. The Death Star is rolling like the boulder from Indiana Jones. Now, MNB did mention that he's trying to make it more stable in the hover mode. Uh, it has like two, it has two helicopter blades inside of here and you can put it on hover mode, but it still kind of leans. So he's looking for suggestions. Now there is some stuff that you can do over here. You can manipulate your your blasty beam over here as you do. And now supposedly there's like um there's like some lights and stuff as well that you can turn on. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> Look at down the barrel of the Death Star. Let's see how well it does at destroying the populace. Eliminate the rebel scum. All right. Oh wow. Yeah, it'll fire some rounds, that's for sure. Oh god, oh, we're starting to- We're starting to twist and turn over here. It's okay, though. The Death Star is a very agile beast. It weighs like 1.25 million tons, he had said. This thing rolls like a freaking bowling ball. Bet you never thought you'd see that before. The Death Star just, like, rolling down the hillside. The Death Star is pretty powerful, but I wonder if something could take down the Death Star. You know, that's not like Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. All right, so John G made this, and he calls it the Eraser, because it basically obliterates anything that it targets. It's really cool. It has, like, the tank treads on it, which are pretty slick. They, like, legitimately work in everything. Now, the gun itself is pretty simplistic. You can move it back and forth. It doesn't really go up and down. So, let's see. There's no, there's no, like, crosshairs or anything like that either. Let's see what happens when we aim it up to the Death Star. Now, whenever you put the Death Star down, it starts to roll almost immediately. So, you need to, uh, you need to get, like, set up quick. Hold on, let's go ahead and roll on up over here. See how it's already starting to crumble? Oh, my God. We're gonna teleport it in midair to make this happen. Here we go. Fire the eraser. Okay, that was whoa. It was like after it hit all the damage started. Hold on, is this thing? It is, it's like arcing up in the air, so it's following alongside of the Death Star. Come on, give me another hit, give me another hit. Oh, I don't think it's gonna do it. I feel like the Death Star should get some rockets shot at it. So Torbus also made this beast. I think it's got like 24 rockets on it, and the longer you hold down the rocket shooty system, the more rockets that go flying. So let's see if we can get the Death Star high in the sky, aim this thing up, and then blast it with all these rockets. Okay, here we go. We got the Death Star. Oh, look at the beam and everything up there. It's freaking awesome. We're kind of aimed up. I think we should be okay. Let's go ahead and start firing the rockets and see what happens right over here. Oh, God. Oh, I should have known. Sometimes when you fire in slow motion, a horror like this happens. One of the rockets is incoming pretty good. There we go. Pelt the other side of the Death Star. You won't be taking our fairy city from us. Oh, that one's going straight inside. That was a Millennium Falcon style of shot right over there. The X-Wings are starting to run on in. Oh, yep. Getting the structure system now. Oh, this rocket thing's working out fantastically. Hold on. Let's go in here so we can watch the rockets as they go in. Oh, no. I think some of the pieces flying off may be deflecting some of the rockets. Nope, there's another one that's blasting right on the inside of the Death Star. Death Star versus modern rocket technology. Who will come out on top? The rocket technology is legit, man. Do not mess with brick rigs. This is what you get, Empire. You thought you were going to roll up in here and with your Empire propaganda and all that and you were going to run this town? You must not know about brick rigs. And just like that, the Death Star doth collapseth. No giant supernova or anything, but it's going to hit the ground pretty good. There we go. All the panels go flying everywhere. Fantastic. Man, these rockets did a fantastic job. Now, MNB also put together this freakish behemoth. It's the Hindenburg. It is absolutely insane. It's big. It's beefy. It's somewhat phallic looking. All right, we're doing it. Double Hindenburgs in front of the artillery battery. Here we go, boys. Fire all of the rockets. All right, I'm going to keep them firing right now. Because I think they're kind of in line to hit. Oh, yeah. 
There it goes. Oh, that damage. I think the first Hindenburg may have shielded the second one. Hold on. Take a look over here. No, there's still a couple of rockets flying. There's a lot of debris, though, that the rockets have to get through. Yeah, you can see right there. The debris field completely shielded the second Zeppelin over here. It's all right, though. We got plenty more where that came from. There we are. Yes. Go, oh, my glorious rocket children. Let's take a look at it from, uh, from up on top over here. See if we can get... Oh, they're kind of like... They're kind of like going toward the side. Did we completely miss the entire thing? We did. All the rockets went flying into space. All the debris is falling on top of my rockets. And it's blowing them all up. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to try and get some of the rockets off. But I, I don't think we're going to... Oh, maybe we, maybe we can hit it. Or not. Maybe they're going to kind of go off to the side and hit a bunch of buildings. It definitely looks like they're going to hit a bunch of buildings. This thing over here is just twisting and turning off to the side. Yep. Sorry, Brickville. Screwed that one up. Ended up taking down a bunch of buildings again unintentionally. All right, well... The secondary Zeppelin kind of went down of its own volition. So Barbarian is back. Pepe decided to uh, do some uh, contractual engineering for the uh, Brick Riggsian military over here. He's created this, I think it's called like the Twit. Yes, the Pepe's 505 Tactical War Infantry Transport. That's for all the errors that you're going to get when you try and utilize this thing. Now supposedly the treads work. Oh, they sure do. He mentioned it's as agile as an aircraft carrier. It's actually pretty agile. I'm very impressed with this. Now, this is a transport vehicle, so there's nothing here that should, uh, you know, sneak up on us and explode or anything like that. He mentioned there's a ton of legroom. Thing goes really fast. Now, what happens if all of a sudden I take uh, invincibility off, I wonder? Is it, is it still working? I think it's still working. I'm pretty sure I just took invincibility off. Yeah! Invincibility is off and it's doing fantastic. Look at okay. Now it's starting to lose some parts. Okay. Now the entire tread just went flying off But look at how far it went Before the treads went completely insane. That's pretty legit. I'm gonna tell you something. Hold on Let's take a look at what the interior looks like. I'm hoping there's some like uh, some beer koozies or something like that over here There's speedometer 80 miles an hour pretty legit. Like I said lots of leg room for you to sit in over here very comfortable to move your transports with uh, vigor and glory. Now the question is, how well will Barbarian's transport protect its men up against something like this? This is the Bonsai, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, the Bonsai by Torpus. Torpus loves doing this crazy stuff. He's starting to make these for all the different nations. Uh, I know Mother Russia's over there. We had uh, the Polish military. We had uh, America. So we have Bonsai over here, which is just a bunch of trucks carrying a ton of explosives. Just explosives upon explosives. I think we're going to have to charge into Pepe's creature over here and see just how much damage it does. Oh, you know what? As a matter of fact, we need something else. There we go. What do you boys think? The protesters are tired of all the fighting. They're trying to put an end to it. You think these guys are going to be okay in the end? All right. Pepe troop transport. Roll on out. All right, Bonsai. Pepe's starting to roll on in over here. Let's go ahead and get the rockets going. Watching the tank treads take out the poor people of Bricksville. I feel like there's almost something satisfying about it oh yeah oh the the trucks have started to lay on into the crowd <laughs> holy crap oh the brick men are going flying pepe's is still doing okay never mind pepe's is not doing okay it is just a mess of fire you can't even see anymore Everything just got turned to dust. There goes the transport. You know what? The structure of the the structural integrity of the transport actually looks okay. It's totally possible. 
that Pepe's twit model over here may have protected some of the individuals that would have been inside. Now, all of the rioters and protesters are completely in shambles, but for the purposes of our tests, I think they made fantastic subjects. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.